All right, so this is probably one of the best kept secrets for solving the Rubik's Cube. I almost considered not sharing this with you guys because it kind of takes the fun out of it, but I figured, I don't know, maybe you could use it to like get a date or impress your friends or something. So anyways, uh, here goes. You can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position using just two moves, and you're just gonna repeat these moves over and over again. You're gonna turn the left side counterclockwise, and then you're gonna turn the top clockwise, so it looks like this. And you're just gonna keep on repeating this sequence over and over again and eventually the cube will start to sort of solve itself. You just keep going. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others. Pretty simple. This robot can solve a Rubik's Cube in world record time. Take any cube, mix it up, place it inside the robot, lock the arms in place, and prepare to be amazed. We got a new world record, baby! Woo-wee! I'm gonna get so many girls. Tips to make your life easier, part one, physiology. If you're ever really nervous or anxious, take your thumb and your ring finger and rub them together or hold your own hand. This is because humans naturally feel more comfortable when they are touched by someone they trust, yourself. If you're ever feeling really stressed, really heated, or you just need to focus on something, take some water and put it on the back of your neck. This will help you calm down and sharpen your brain because of something called the mammalian dive reflex. If you're ever presenting in school or doing a speech, walk around as you talk. The movement will help blood get oxygen to your brain. And as a bonus, it'll help the audience to stay focused on you and your teacher would probably give you better marks for presenting. Look what I learned today. instantly takes away all the bubbles. Just put an ice cube in your pasta. These are life hacks that will actually be useful in your life. Febreze instantly kills ants on impact, so next time you have an ant problem, you know what to do. If you ever have a sore throat, eat cucumbers because it cools down your throat and stops the itchy feeling. If you have a crack on your phone, put toothpaste on it because toothpaste helps clear up cracks. Like if you found this helpful. Next time you apply for a job online, try this. This will dramatically increase the likelihood that they will look at your resume and even respond to it. And about only 5% of candidates do it, so you should do it. Hop on LinkedIn for it to help you figure out who the hiring manager of the role is. You won't know for sure, but heck, you're gonna have to live with that uncertainty, okay? Message them on LinkedIn or use a tool like Hunter.io or Mailscoop.io to find their email. In your email, say, I just wanted to let you know that I just applied for X role and I'm so excited because your company, and then say something about the company that you really like. If you also have a few accomplishments or ways that you can add value quickly there that you wanna throw in, do it, but make this message really brief. Companies get so many resumes and they all seem so generic. So for you to take this time to reach out to them and be like, hey, I'm actually passionate, makes a huge difference. Don't get it twisted though. They will not respond every time. I've already written the 20 email templates you need for your job search. So I will link that in the comments. You got this. Wi-Fi high five.